In the previous lesson, we looked at how to use the basic filter in Excel to filter your data set. In this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the advanced way to do this. Because the problem with the basic filter is that, for example, if I come here and I start selecting items, and then here I select another couple of items, I'll get my result. But to know what I have done, I have to hover the mouse here to check that, okay, I selected Anna and Jonathan, and here I selected those products. And every time I want to change something, I have to start clicking again and then trying to change. So it's a bit cumbersome. So let's look at advanced filtering. First of all, what I'm going to do is remove this filter. So you can use one of the two shortcuts, either Ctrl Shift L or Alt A T. Next, I'm going to show you where is this advanced filter. So it's under data. You have here advanced. What Excel does is that it recognizes my data set automatically. So that's good. And then I have to specify a criteria range. So this is what we're going to work on in this lesson. The other two things that you can do is get the unique records and copy your filter data to another location. What we're going to do for now is that we're just going to filter this data set. So let's do cancel and let's start. Let's assume that I want to get the sales of Jonathan. So what I'll do is I'm going to copy salesman. You can also type it in. You can type it in small letters. You don't need to have the S capital because it's not case sensitive. I'm going to take Jonathan, copy paste, and then I go to advanced filter. I click on my criteria range and I select this and I say, okay. And as you can see, I get everything that Jonathan sold. As simple as this. Let's make it a bit more complex. Let's check what Jonathan sold, but I want to get only the green chips, right? So we take the item, we put it here. We take green chips, we put it here with Control C, Control V. And when I put things next to each other, it means and. So I want the salesman to be Jonathan and I want the item to be green chips. So let's go to advanced filter, change our criteria range, and then say OK. And as you can see, we get only the green chips. If I want Jonathan, but I want all his items except green chips, I can come here on the formula bar, use an arrow to the left and an arrow to the right, and then I press enter. I go to my advanced filter. The range is correct, so I just do OK to refresh it. And as you can see, I get all the other items, but not green chips. I can also use wildcard. So as you can see here in his items, I have raw almond, I have almond milk, etc. So if I want everything that has almond, I can use this star. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what he's selling. So for criteria range, we're just going to take the salesman as Jonathan. So we have also green chips that comes here. To do this formatting, I can go here. I type star, almond, star. What does it mean? It means I want anything before almond, then the word almond, then anything after almond, which means that, for example, here I have something before almond, so it will take it. Here I have something after almond, it will take it. So we press enter, we go to advanced filter, we select our criteria range, and we say OK. And as you can see, I get everything that has almond in it. Now let's make it a bit more complex. Let's add a second salesman. So for example, I had Anna as another salesman here. So I'm going to come here and say star. Anna star the same way we did for almond we can just copy paste the format not a problem and then here I have to specify what product I want so let's assume that I want a product that has chips in it so we write chips with the wildcard now let me explain to you something when you have things next to each others it means and when you have them on another line, it means or. So here what it means, I want all the sales of Jonathan that have almond in it 
and all the cells of Anna that have chips in it. So we go to our data, advanced filter, we change our range, we select this, we say OK. As you can see, I have Anna here, and you have green chips only, and Anna green chips. And for Jonathan, I have all his raw almond. And this kind of filtering, it's very hard to do with basic filter. You will have to do multiple times, copy paste it, etc. Now let's make it more complex. Let's assume that I want all the items above 10 as an amount. So I can add amount here. I can say bigger than 10 and bigger than 10. And again, this means all the sales of Jonathan that has almond that are more than 10. And then you get on top of this, the sales of Anna having chips above 10. We go back, we select our data range, we make it to here, enter, OK. And as you can see, this 10 is gone. If I want everything below 70 and bigger than 10, I can just add another criteria and I'll say less than 70, less than 70. And same thing, I just refresh my range and I say OK. And as you can see, those blue have disappeared. So now let's try to filter unique values, right? So first of all, I'm going to remove my filtering. So I'm going to remove all the criteria. So I get back my list. And let's say I want to get all my items. How do I get my unique items from this list? Obviously, you can go copy this, do remove duplicates. You can do some other methodologies. But for now, I'm going to use the filtering. So I go to advanced filter. I'm just going to click and select this data. And then I don't want any criteria. I'm going to say unique record, copy to another location. And let's put the location here and say OK. And as you can see, I can get all the items that are in my data set.